What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the Beautiful Beer View channel. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I have a monocle on. Um, about 10 months ago at, on a beach trip with Ronnie, who's over here off camera, who's supplied these really blind battle beers today. Um, we were at Patches Pub in Panama City, and I lost a bet. I said the cover band would open with an Eagle song. He said they would not, and he said, what are we gonna bet? And they said, you wear a monocle in a beer review. So here we are, I'm wearing a monocle in a beer review. Um, so we've done blind, we've done, we've done blind beers before, right? Yeah, we've done completely bra uh, Ronnie's brown bag special where I have no idea what they are. This is an idea that David Gunnels came up with and sent it to me. He said, hey man, do blind battles but have no idea what's in the bottles. And here we are. So we have this bottle over here, gray wax top that Ronnie took the wax off of, um, and this can. Uh, 16 ounce pint. I have no idea what either style is. What I'm gonna do is open this, pour it, smell and drink, open this, pour it, smell and drink, and pick a winner. Do my best to pick a style. Um, Ronnie never goes easy on me when it comes to these, so we actually lost a couple that we did due to bad lighting. We thought it was gonna work out and it didn't. The camera went dark. This was about six months ago or that. So we're back in here with good lighting and enough talking, here we go. Uh, gonna use the, the opener on this one. Got some good smoke coming out of the glass. Hmm, it smells like, it smells stouty. Let's see. Hey, all right, well this is pouring out super dark cola. Although one of my eyes is completely messed up, so I do notice this has got like a tint to it. <laughs> like it's throwing off, it's like this orange tint coming out of this left eye, and this eye kind of looks normal. Yeah, so anyway, either way, this has a pinky of uh, this off-white tan head super pitch black in the glass. I'm gonna go with a stout. Um, we'll get to it, nose and see if it's an imperial stout after the taste. Um, pretty cold, but I'll be okay. Here we go. Hey. That has an adjunct. What are you? I smell vanilla. So I smell vanilla I don't want to spend too much time on these because they're battle beers. But anyway, I smell like vanilla, some coffee notes. They could could be roasted malts, though. It smells boozy. I'm going to give this an imperial stout, almost guaranteed, on the nose, somewhere north of 10%, um, maybe 11, 12, just on the nose, but maybe not. All right, let's get a taste on this one. That's good, but gosh, there's an adjunct. It has to have vanilla in it. It may not be added vanilla, but it's been in a barrel. If it's not, it's been in a barrel that's picking up um, oak and vanilla, but I don't really taste oak. I'm getting more vanilla adjunct, and I want to say coconut, but then I'm messing with my head. It's so, it's so when you, when you do blind beers, it's so weird, and this monocle is throwing me off completely. So it is all in my head that I have a monocle. You know, I don't taste a lot of booze on this, but I did smell it. I'm still going Imperial Adjunct Stout, maybe 10%, 11%, somewhere close to that. If not, it could be north, like 12 and a half. There's a little bit of burn in the chest, but I don't know, we'll get to this one. We'll come back to these to give this a little time to warm up too. The nondescript can. Uh, again, I have no idea on bottling dates or anything. I haven't looked at the bottom of these cans or bottles or anything. All right, so into the prairie glass we go. Yeah, another dark, dark imperial style. They almost look identical. This actually, the body's a little bit lighter, it looks like. Same head on it, though. About a pinky, maybe a full finger for real, tan mocha head. Not a whole lot to see any different. Let's get a nose on this one. This one smells sweeter. Way sweeter, actually. The adjunct is different, but the same. Um, this one has more of a sweet, like cold brew coffee note to it, as opposed to this one, but then again, it could be roasted malts. Man, these are so much fun to do, and they rack my brain. I think so fast when this is going on. I'd, I'd hate to be wrong. That's the problem. Um, 
but these are so much fun. Like they really are. They are like, if I could do this every single one, I would do this this way. All right, let's get a taste on this one. Okay, the body on this is a lot thinner. Um, not watery by any means. Less adjuncted than this one too. This has more of a bitter, dark roast finish. Um, hmm, hang on. This one? This has a coffee, like a mild coffee finish, but it also has like a nutty thing going on. That I can't, I can't pick out what nut it is. But there is a nuttiness to this, and then the, the finish is a bitter dark roast, like an imperial stout would finish. I think if these are close, I would say the ABV is higher on this one than it is this one. I'd put this one in the 9.5%, 9%. If not, it's hidden really well. Okay. Let me go back to them one more time, and we'll make a winner. How long, how long have we been doing this? Six minutes? Yeah. So this one smells. It just smells a lot better. I feel like, I almost feel like I've had something from this brewery before. It's familiar, but it's not overly familiar, if that makes sense. The mouthfeel is better. The vanilla is coming through stronger. There... I could be wrong. There seems to be some sort of coconut shining through this of something, whether it's fake, chemically, or real roasted coconut. I do not know, but this has a coconutty vibe to it. To be perfectly honest with you guys, completely blind, could totally offend some people. This beer is heads and tails better than this. The mouthfeel is just much lighter. The roast is not as strong. This is just a better bodied, better crafted beer, especially if they're in the same ABV range um, within two or three percent of each other. This is a better beer, no doubt. All right, so I'm picking the Ghost Train glass and this bottle. So let's see what this is first. Let's see what the loser is first. Okay, yeah. I've had stuff from them before. Okay, uh, 35K stout beer, 7%. So I think I said eight or nine, and that's a, that's fair. Um, does it say anything about anything added to it at all? Wiggity woo. I don't know if there's any adjuncts in this or not. I think I said milk stout. The stout is milky smooth and sweet. It's worth 35K. Mouthfeel is off. There is seem to be some coffee coming through that I stand by that. No nut added, probably just the malts itself. So that's fine. Let's see what this is. If this doesn't have coconut in it. <sighs> Let me just tell you, I really like this beer, okay? I really like it. I, I, I'm putting myself out there. I do not know what it is. Maybe I'd like it because it's waxed. I'm just kidding. I hate wax. Y'all know that. I can't stand cutting it. All right, I've had something from this brewery before, but never anything, um, never anything um, from them stout-wise, only IPAs. This is Triple C Brewing out of um, Charlotte, North Carolina. I uh, forgot to say, this is out of Louisville, Kentucky, I believe. Uh, so this is chocolate-covered pretzel stout. Stout brewed with cacao nibs and aged in bourbon barrels. So no added vanilla, but there was definitely vanilla coming from the bourbon barrels. Now that I know that though, I'm still not getting a ton of bourbon. There's alcohol. I said there was alcohol on the nose. I said, what did I say this one was, 13? I said, and it's 9.2. So the alcohol is not hidden very well on this one. It is pretty forward with the alcohol. Um, but taste-wise, it's dead on. No coconut, cacao nibs though. So there was an adjunct in it, just didn't know what it was. And the bourbon barrels imparted vanilla to it for real. A decent amount of vanilla. Um, so I stand by it. This is definitely the winner of these two beers. This beer, I wish there, now that I know there was more, now that I know it was Asian and bourbon barrels, I wish there was a little more bourbon shine. However, they're really cold. If it had warmed up a little bit, maybe some bourbon barrel would have come out. But this is a really well-crafted beer and very, very good. 
So this blind battle's over. We're gonna shoot another one. It'll come out later. No monocle. Thank you so much for checking it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.